I've come to the frightening conclusion that I am the decisive element in the classroom. It's my personal approach that creates the climate. It's my daily mood that makes the weather. As a teacher, I possess a tremendous power to make a child's li life miserable or joyous. I can be a tool of torture or an instrument of inspiration. I can humiliate or heal. In all situations, it is my response that decides whether a crisis will be escalated or de-escalated and a child humanized or dehumanized. This quote by Gano speaks of teachers, and I add students, as elements in a classroom. An element, a pure substance that is made from a single type of element, or atom, that would work. Meet Lucas, one such element, student, child. As my firstborn grew, I wondered, what will his mark be on the world? What is his composition? At seven years old, he was tested and was determined that he had two labels that applied, gifted and learning disabled. That's right, a great disparity existed between his IQ at the 97th percentile and his reading performance at the 26th. This compound would not prove to mix well in the substance of school. Let's look at one classroom example among many where Lucas's creative genius was squashed by the more important rule of following teacher directions. A third grader truly understanding how to improve his learning by looking at the number 60? Telling him to ask for help on something that he was so determined he was confident he had mastered? He grew to believe, given the limited feedback, that he was destined to be a failure. As his confidence and self-worth diminished, my heart broke and my faith in my profession began to falter. It was then and only then in my teaching career that I really began to understand what matters. The assignments we make, the questions we ask, the feedback we provide, and what we allow to inform our impression on learning, those decisions matter. In the most nuclear, deep, and life-changing way, they matter. Meet Legacy, an element with a much different composition. At first glance, a shining bright star, attentive to rules with a desire to please and a commitment to comply. She simply played school well from the beginning. A teacher's dream, I was often told. Like many chem chemical substances, however, a shiny surface can often be misleading. On the outside, pyrite looks like gold, but it's simply an imitation. To find true gold, you really need to know what you're looking for, to look beneath the surface. When I realized Legacy believed that learning meant memorizing and repeating what the teacher said, I knew that true understanding, in her case, was a false positive. It was at this point that I added to my list of what matters. Factual and procedural knowledge are not enough. True learning takes place if and only if it's balanced with conceptual understanding and metacognitive experiences, meaning. Without balance, we are simply measuring what the teacher says and does. And then there's Lincoln. At the age of four, he was allowed to play in the six-year-old soccer league because he was just that aggressive and not afraid of a challenge. While his insatiable desire to move was compatible with playing sports and pushing boundaries, it did not serve him well in school. His first apology note to a teacher came after an incident of stabbing a blow-up globe with a pencil while it was being passed around during show and tell because, in his words, he wanted to see if it would pop or deflate slowly. Many teachers may have confused Lincoln's lack of interest in boredom with rebellion and his refusal to compromise on his principles with disobedience. I often have teased that I have two college funds and one bail fund. Truth be told, he is the most passionate, loyal, and compassionate of the three. Perhaps my greatest understanding of what matters in teaching and learning came from Lincoln. Finding purpose, owning the process, and tapping into real and raw desires of our students will open the door for achievement beyond our expectations. I shamefully admit to saying at times in my career, if I didn't have so many special education students, I wish I had more of these kinds of students, and if he would just sit still and do what I say, all of which are irrelevant to the job I was hired to do and to the profession that I'm passionate about, and most importantly, to the lives of the children I impact. I'm forever blessed to have learned what really matters through these three. They helped awaken a fire inside of me, one that burns with intensity, one that causes me to speak up, speak out, and fan flames. These elements are our future. Meet Lucas now, a corporate IT specialist and national esports podcaster, legacy a leader in her community with a double major in environmental geology or, and um, 
science. <laughs> and that troublemaker, that rule breaker, and now, like all of us, a huge difference maker. Stand up. Please help me welcome to his first National Education Conference, an educator working towards his master's, Lincoln Barger. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when we ignite imagination and inspire hope for all kids.